Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate Let's Play. I'm your host, Saigon. We just finished up with Berioth last episode. Looks like all we have left to do is Rathalos. Now, I can't remember off the top of my head which hurts him more, lightning or water. I know Rathian is lightning. Wrath is... Okay. Lightning. Man, he's weak to everything. Wait, am I right? Is it lightning? Yeah, lightning. He's very weak to lightning. And impact damage. Looks like he's going to be weakest in the head. Secondary belly. Same as cutting damage. So, let's go ahead and switch over to my lightning gear. I don't even care about new gear right now. I'm pretty much on a fast track to finish the uh, village quests. Uh, not going to need a hot drink. Not going to need a cleanser. We'll keep a steak. We'll keep the paint balls. I still haven't had to use any of these mega potions I've been carrying around for the longest time. Poison coatings. He can be poisoned, so we may as well go for it. I don't think... That my lightning gear. I think the Arconulo will allow poison. Oop. Paralysis. We can paralyze him. Rathlos is another monster that doesn't really bother me anymore. Fought him enough times that he just doesn't scare me. Let's get you guys switched over. Oh no, you're good with rage. We're going to switch you over to Thunder. Gear I'm wearing does have some weakness to fire, but, uh, you know, only hurts if you get hit by it, right? All right. Wrath of the Rathalos. At the volcano, really? All right, fine. Volcano Rathalos. Why not? Let's grab some cool drinks. I wish there was a box right here. If I had a supply box right here, I'd stop buying cool drinks from the vendor. Because I don't want to have to go back inside my house. So lazy. I'm too, too cheap to buy power coatings, and I'm too lazy to walk back into my house to pick up gear I already have. Oh, into that. That's right, he can poison. His talons poison. Yeah. 
don't believe there's one particularly faster way to get to eight, so we'll just go through seven to get there. Five might be faster. It looks like it might be a bit shorter. He does prefer to move around quite a bit, so we're going to try and keep him painted, if I can remember. And that's really the big trick, is whether or not I remember. Flagship Wyvern, let's let him know we are here. Flash bombs are best used when he's in the air. Because they'll knock him down out of the sky. I don't know how fortunate I'm going to be hitting him with them, though. Are you leaving? You're coming down. I didn't get him while he's in the air. That's okay. He will spin around while he's flashed, but he doesn't really charge often. Did I bring dung bombs? I did not. I really should have. Oh, 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 no, you're not leaving. You're just popping up for a quick scream. Oh, God. <laughs> that, uh, that jumping back fireball that he does can do a lot of damage. It is in your best interest to not get hit by it. How about... Ow. I was trying to get him to hit the Rathalos with it, but I don't think it worked. Did you leave? Where are you going? Seven. All the way down to four. Ugh. I will give Rathalos this. He moves around entirely too much. He's probably getting a drink. That's how he restores his stamina. I can't believe it's out already. Oh no, he's eating. Okay. Oh, just out of range. Really? Head break already? Why are you monsters so easy today? I 
I did uh, Diablos, Berioth, Rathalos. All of those have been today. I'm just, I'm on fire today. The game really has gotten a lot easier. It's a wyvern tier, but it could also be a plate, so let's grab it. Ah! Ah! Wyvern tier, damn. Ow. I feel like that should have done more damage. Considering this gear isn't exactly great against fire. getting owned. Why am I complaining about it? Right about there. Trying to break his other wing. There it goes. Trip and fall. back to seven. Three. Okay. Not my first choice, but, you know, I'm not a dragon. What do I know? I am getting these staggers off way too easily. Alright, okay, that was kind of scary. I will give him that. You're gonna limp away, aren't you? You're done, already. No, that's an antidote, damn it. Maybe they just made the bow too powerful. Maybe that's it. Because it wasn't exactly the highest damaging weapon back in Freedom Unite, either. 
Maybe I was just using it wrong. Oh, doing things like Red Kezu in G rank required me to not use a bow. I had to use, like, a greatsword to get it done for uh, the Hunter's Guild quests. So, the, the fact that I'm owning up on these guys faster than I ever did with a greatsword is really baffling to me. I shouldn't say than I ever did with a greatsword. Once I had my greatsword and gear all put together the way I liked it, it didn't take very long, but still. Whoop, I'm gonna get... Ah, the <laughs> it got turned around. Ten minutes. Freaking really? Okay. I guess I'll take it. This is not high rank gear. I'm still wearing low rank gear. The, the hardest part about putting together this bow that I'm using was the Bunahabra wings and the ingot gear all this is is just low rank ores like there's a lot of them it took me a while to get the damn thing together but still it's taking me as much time to kill these guys now as it used to in a good group Instead of like, you know. <sighs> I like to believe that it's because I got better. Did I see a plate? Did I get a plate? I can't believe I got a plate. Holy crap. I got a plate. I got a plate already. Oh my god. I didn't even have to farm him. What am I going to make? I could put together a long sorting set. Ooh, 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 is it, is it time? Yes. Yes. All right. Fantastic. New Elder Dragon is way too much for a single hunter to handle. The guild has set emergency procedures in motion, and they've given the monster a name, the Ciadius. That's not all. I was also sent a special communique just for Moga Village. Let me read it to you. All civilians are to cooperate with the guild, liaison, and evacuate the island immediately. We hereby disclaim Moga Village and all surrounding hunting grounds. With all, all guild hunters are to assist with the evacuation and then return at once. In other words, the situation's so dire they've basically wrote off the village as unsavable. Well, it's just some huts, right? Everybody, everyone's safety is more important. We have to trust in the guild's judgment. But do we? This is our home. How can we expect this... Oh, blah, 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 blah. You know what? I'm going to stop trying to read. You can read just fine. Oh my god, somebody's honking their horn outside. Terrifying.
Oh my gosh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Darn right, I'm going to go hunt the dragon. <laughs> Sappier than a sap plant. Okay, all right, okay. Good lord, stop talking. Stop talking. There's a Dragonator down there, and there's also a Ballista, which I never use. Oh, that's right. Okay, we do need some materials first. And we have everything that we need except for resources. Oh, but hey, look at that. I have just enough strange beaks. Fantastic. Whoop. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Base camp for fighting the Seadius is ready. And, uh, there's a couple more quests we're gonna have to do. Darn it! Okay, so... Rathlos on Desert Island. Uragon. And Agnactor, who I'm going to avoid for as long as possible, because I hate him. Anyhow, thanks for watching, everybody. Coming down to the wire soon. Gonna be saving Moga Village and tackling our first Elder Dragon. I'm your host, Saigon. This is the Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate Let's Play. I will see you all next time.